Do you believe that you can heal yourself? Too often we give our power away to something outside of ourselves and rarely, if ever, trust and tap into our innate healing power and intuition. Everyone has this capability to heal in ways we never thought possible. It's your sovereign right to claim and have true health and lasting wellness. Now, here is the host of the Dr. Dolores Show, Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in our amazing universe. And you're listening to The Dr. Dolores Show on Inspired Choices Network. And I'm Dr. Dolores Vizzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. And today's episode, we're going to be talking about the appreciative heart. And when we think about appreciation, it's more of a feel than anything else because you have to remember that everything is energy and it's the essence of words that have a vibration and frequency as well. So being appreciated is I think one of the most amazing things you could feel for yourself, especially when somebody tells you, you know, I appreciate you. It's like, it's almost like you kind of puff up a little bit and you're letting it sink in. And being appreciated, I feel is like, a very important aspect that I'm going to link in with being kind to other people too. There's values that I feel are really essential and being appreciated, valued, respected, and being kind to other people are, are all part of that. But on today's show, we're going to just talk about, and we'll take a deep dive into appreciation of what it is sometimes and what it is not. <laughs> So I want to circle back to the whole idea that everything is energy and vibration. And, you know, what you're witnessing or if you're able to see me in my office here, I'm a, a denser demonstration of vibration and frequency or energy. OK, because you could see that and it's stuff that we can tangibly see in everything that I have in my office. What is not as tangible is the feelings and the essence and the words that we choose and the vibrations that are part of that. And when we are um, feeling things, it's like you could tell sometimes how genuine and sincere people are by what they say to you and how they say it. I always have this philosophy that it's not in the words, it's how it's delivered. Um, people could feel that no matter what's going on. No words need to be said, but it's the intonation and um, how it is said or um, demonstrated speaks volumes. It's like words have no meaning. It's like words, it's like a vibration. And I kind of feel we are getting to be more and more I wouldn't say telepathic, but maybe we are because it's an energy and telepathy is energy. And just because we can't see it does not mean it does not exist because it does. You could feel that. I love watching animals and really, you know, if you have pets, I, you know, I have a cat and I have a bird, but it's interesting just watching the dynamics of the animal, you know, my pet cat, Gracie, and how she communicates. She doesn't meow or anything. You could feel what's coming from her and she gets her needs met. And it's because if you're able to dial in to feel what they're experiencing, they will telepathically communicate with you. That's how animals, anim, uh, animal communicators talk to animals. It's all telepathic. It's a visual it's projecting images. And I feel that that's in a very advanced form of communication. And I feel humanity is probably going to get to that point at some place in time. So part of circling back to appreciation and the appreciative heart, it's a feel, it's a vibration. And many people think that gratitude and appreciation are the same things. In essence, they're different, 
And I'm going to just read from my notes here because I found some interesting things in regards to the difference between um, gratitude and appreciation. So I'm just reading from my notes here. It says, gratitude and appreciation are closely related concepts, but there are subtle differences between them. So gratitude is a feeling of thankfulness or pleasure for something received or experienced. It often implies a sense of indebted, indebtedness or obligation, whereas appreciation is a sense of pleasure or enjoyment, often accompanied by admiration or respect. It can be directed towards people, things, or experiences. So as you could tell, gratitude and appreciation, they may be closely linked, but I kind of feel that gratitude has a different vibration to it, and so does appreciation. In my world, it seems like the appreciation vibrates at a higher frequency than gratitude. Both are high vibrating and frequency words, and we've talked a lot about you know the power of words on my show, and everything is, remember, everything is energy. Words have energy and vibration, feelings, thoughts, beliefs, whatever. It's the stuff that's not said also is vibration and frequency as well. So when you feel like you're being appreciated, I feel like it's like you almost want to puff up a little bit and you feel really good about yourself because you're being acknowledged for um, for that. And people are seeing you as you are, okay? Whereas the gratitude, it's like being so thankful that something didn't happen, <laughs> You know, because it's like, we're just like, I'm so grateful that didn't happen. Well, you know, it's almost like keeping us lower, whereas like if you appreciate the fact that that didn't happen, it's a little different vibration. So they may be close, but they're subtly different. Um, I remember working with early on in my career, a, um, a general surgeon who it was like the essence of who he was, he appreciated everybody was very verbal about it in the room. He would say, thank you for doing that. I appreciate that. I appreciate you doing this. Or thank you for doing this. I appreciate you being here. So that makes a big difference. And what I witnessed with that was that people just gravitated towards him because it was the essence of that appreciation that they were feeling. They felt as if they were um, respected but also valued as well. So, you know, that's something important. And I've taken that to heart in my career and in my life as well. Um, it doesn't take much to, you know, to tell people that they're valued and appreciated. And, you know, it, it, the importance, it's making them feel important because you never know what somebody's going through. And that just might make their day, seriously. And, you know, in our day, in our um in our world, you know, there's so much going on that these are the small things that each one of us can do to make a difference. And when we are all doing the best we can and appreciating and having gratitude and being able to give kindness to other people, we are able to change the course of humanity because it all starts with us first, okay? So, you know, let's talk a little bit more about appreciation because many of us, <laughs> you know, are like, well, how do you, you know, how do you do that? You know, it's just like appreciation. It's like, first of all, I'm going to invite you, please get out of your head and just take a deep breath and step into your body because it's nothing to figure out. It's just about a state of being. And when you are in your physical body, guess what? You're able to be, you're able to be in that moment. And from that point, you're gonna be able to um, ripple out that essence of what that word is. People think that, oh my God, I gotta figure this out. I don't know if I could do this. It's like, okay, once you start jumping from being here, present right here, right now in the moment, you pop right out into your head and you're just out of the flow of that. And 
this is where you start to go down what I call the proverbial rabbit hole. It's just like it snowballs and it's just like, you're trying to figure it out. It's like, it's, you're reacting, you're, you're, you know, maybe this, maybe that. And it's, it, it's so stressful. It's so maddening. And it really is counterproductive because you will spin your wheels more than you could imagine. Whereas if you just take a deep breath, just go into your body experience what you're feeling and just feel what appreciation is. You're going to probably have some sensations in your body that are going to, um, that are linked to that and just tap into what that is. So how does one, you know, cultivate an appreciative heart? You know, I, we talk a lot about gratitude and gratitude journaling. I think gratitude is a gateway to get you into appreciation. Um, you know, I love the idea that we do gratitude journaling. I'm going to change that to appreciation journaling. Three things that you're appreciative of. You know, I'm appreciative that I have food on the table. I'm appreciative that my cat loves me. I'm appreciative that I get to stay in bed, you know, and sleep in sometimes. Those are things that I invite you to, to uh, just change out the verbiage from gratitude to appreciation and just see what that does to shift your world. I think those are important things to uh, take into consideration. Mindfulness practices, you know, we're big at the Dr. Dolores show about mindfulness and mindful activity. And mindfulness is, I feel it's the gateway to get you into the present moment and into your body. Um, and what is a mindful activity? I'm, you know, we've talked about this before, but I'll just repeat this. Mindful activities are anything that allows you to lose all sense of time and place. We've all had those moments where we get so caught up in what we are doing that hours go by and we think just five or 10 minutes went by. That is what we call a mindful activity. It's where you lose all sense of time and place. And you are right there, right, right, you're right there, right here, right there <laughs> in the present moment. And this is where you're able to tap into the treasure trove of your higher self, your feelings, and also uh, your intuition and your inner guidance, whatever you want to call that, you know, and mindfulness is the gateway to get to that. So acts of kindness, you know, performing acts of services for other, and it doesn't take much to do something kind to somebody. Sometimes it's as simple as when you see somebody down the street, just smile. That's, you know, that's, you don't even have to verbally say anything, just smile at them. You'd be surprised. Maybe that'll just make their day. You just don't know, but it's being kind. We have been uh, programmed in our society that we have this dichotomy that everything's black or white. It's time to start implementing the shades of gray in between because everything is not black and white. There's too many variables going on and too many things are happening rapidly for our society and, uh, and for each of us individually as well. Positive affirmations, do your best to be mindful and aware of what you're saying because sometimes we are in react mode and we'll just say whatever's on our mind and it might not be the most positive thing. Um, and then surround yourself with people who are going to support you and uplift you, not drag you down. Sometimes you have to purge your friendships and, you know, it's like cleaning house and it's an okay thing to do because energetically they're draining you. And maybe you're no, maybe you were aligned with them at one time, but now you have been upgraded and you need to um, open space for whatever's going to be next for you that's in more of alignment. So I wouldn't say it's about being mean and kind, you know, mean and unkind to people. It's just like realizing that everything in our life is there for a reason, a season or a lifetime. And once lessons are learned or we have 
raised our frequency, it's time to move on so we could get upgraded. So we're getting ready for our first break, and you're listening to The Dr. Dolores Show on Inspired Choices Network. And I'm Dr. Dolores Mazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. And we are talking about the appreciative heart today. So when we come back, let's dive in a little deeper and learn what the appreciative heart is not. Do you trust your instincts? Many of us don't. Yet this is the key to connecting to your innate healer within and your intuition. Tune in to The Dr. Dolores Show with nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer, Dr. Dolores Fazzino, to receive insights and tools to realign with your inner wisdom for lasting health and true wellness. Listen for The Dr. Dolores Show, Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Pacific, on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Ready to break free from complacency? Welcome to I'm Awake, Now What? Your monthly invitation to embrace conscious living. If you've been feeling lost or stagnant, this is your chance to awaken your purpose. Join our transformative conscious wake up office hours every month for guidance and self-discovery. Experience the power of clarity and focus as you navigate towards holistic healing and empowerment. Don't just survive, thrive. Sign up now and unlock a wealth of benefits, including enhanced well-being, stress reduction, emotional healing, and connection. It's time to ignite the flames of purpose within and start your journey to a fulfilling life. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Dr. Dolores Show with Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to Dolores at drdoloresfazino.com. Now, back to the program. And welcome back, everybody. You're listening to another episode of the Dr. Dolores Show on Inspire Choices Network. And I'm Dr. Dolores Fazino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. And we're talking today on our show about the appreciative heart. And before we went on break, we were talking about appreciation and gratitude and the the slight difference between the two. Both are vibrating at a pretty high frequency, yet appreciation just goes a little more above that, I feel. And so we talked about what appreciation and gratitude was all about. What I want to talk to and address now is some examples of what is not appreciation, okay? So we have the full gamut of what is not appreciation. Sometimes, you know, we have these expectations that we're expecting something in return for your kindness or generosity. That really is not appreciation. When you're in an expectancy mode or it's a tit for tat type of thing, some, you know, a lot of people too, we see a lot of this in our society, this entitlement about believing you deserve something without having to earn it. That is not appreciation at all as well. It's as if you um, feel like something is owed to you, uh, even though it's not. Obligation, you know, feeling obligated to do sense, do something out of the sense of guilt or shame. And I, I, I think that that's an interesting one too, because um, that's where a lot of, it builds resentment over time when that happens. But that's not a definition of what appreciation is also. Pitying pitying or feeling sorry for someone and offering help out of pity um, 
rather than genuine appreciation is not appreciation. And then flattery, you know, how many times people name drop that I know so-and-so and, uh, you know, trying to praise someone excessively or insincerely to gain their, their, their life or their, not their life, their liking or to gain favor with them. So that's not appreciation as well. And of course, manipulation, uh, using praise or flattery to control or influence somebody. Um, you know, you could, you, you know where I'm going with this and you're feeling it. So conditional appreciation too is another thing. Um, appreciating someone or something only when it benefits you. That's not appreciation. So just remember, true appreciation is sincere, heartfelt, and comes from a genuine place of gratitude. It doesn't involve an underlying motive or expectations. It's just, it's like the genuineness and the sincerity and um, I'm going to say the authenticity as well. I mean, how many times have we been at the receiving end of any of those? It it just didn't feel good. You know, there you, you could feel like the, you, you feel the essence that there's some type of in agenda. And Christine says here, I love when people try to manipulate you through through fake appreciation. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's a feel thing. It just feels sticky or it feels like something's off. So. I invite you to trust those instincts because they're going to be spot on 100% accurate. And, you know, here on my show, I really empower people to trust their intuition and their gut because it's always correct. And I feel that many of us have been programmed to ignore that. And it's important to come full circle and re-implement that into your life and allow it to become one of your best friends because it's going to guide you to where you need to go next. And it may not be popular with what might be going on outside of you, but for you individually, it's the right thing to do. So that's all I'm going to say about that. So I have a thing for you. If everything is energy and frequency, what is the best way to tap into appreciation? Hmm. That's a good question. Let's go delve into that now. So how we could tap into the frequency and appreciation is about, you know, we talk about this mindfulness and meditation, focus on the present moment and pay attention to what you're feeling and sensing, you know, when you're in the world, okay, but also what you're feeling, because let's face it, there's a lot of external uncertainty and chaos right now. And when you're able to become the still point within yourself, it doesn't really matter what's going on around you. You are aligned with who you are and where you need to be going moving forward. So when you are able to focus on the present moment, practice gratitude and mindful appreciation, these are important factors that are gonna allow you to set a great foundation for your life, okay? It's about allowing yourself to feel, allowing yourself to express those things with the most genuine heart and authentic heart as well. So positive affirmations can be helpful and they could reinforce your appreciation. I find that just focusing on the word and just feeling it and allow it, allowing it to really integrate within your your body allows you to really tap into the vibration and frequency of that. And when you are tapping into the vibration and frequency of higher vibrating words, guess what happens? You raise your frequency and vibration with that. So anything that is not vibrating with that higher frequency is going to dissipate, fall away, neutralize possibly, and it's not going to have that much of an effect on you. 
when you could come to that point within yourself where you're able to feel like you're you're going to be okay no matter what is going on you've reached nirvana okay when you're able to appreciate everything that you have gone through to get to this moment it's like receiving the golden ticket from Willy Wonka. <laughs> there is this essence of groundedness, peacefulness, and no matter what's circling around you, you know you're going to be okay. And it's being appreciative for those moments that are truly part of who you are, okay? So remain positive. It's not about getting a bypass and not dealing with anything that comes up that triggers you, okay? Trigger Triggers are really gifts in disguise. So there's a lot that's going to trigger us in our world right now. And sometimes that doesn't feel like it should be an appreciation type of thing. But yet I'm going to invite you to go there. When there is a trigger happening for you, you know, our first... Um, reaction sometimes is to react. That's what we do. We play whack-a-mole at the fair sometimes, unless you're aware. And when you're aware that you're being triggered, this is where the gold nuggets and the opportunities come in. You can make a ch different choice. You could just sit with what's going on and just acknowledge that you're being triggered, but choose not to react and just, um, you know, within yourself, just saying, I'm triggered, show me why I'm being triggered, and just allow what comes next. I think you'll be very surprised, or not. <laughs> you might, you know, go into something from another time and place in your life, or maybe you're having what we call a past life hangover, where something happened in a previous lifetime that's still affecting you in this lifetime. That's going to be a topic for another show in the future. But for right now, um, what is important is that when you're in it, I know it's it, the last thing on your mind is like, oh my God, I can't appreciate this right now because I'm in react mode and it's just like, I can't handle this. And I just want to take care of this and put it on a shelf and not deal with it or deal, you know, deal with it later. But I need to put it in a nice little box so I don't have to look at it or whatever. <laughs> does that sound familiar? It probably does. Many of us do that. When you're able to see what's going on when you're triggered and get those little bits of wisdom it's like oh my god i have a greater appreciation for this this actually was my teacher and allowed me to see things that i needed to clean up in my world so that i could have more peace more serenity and more flow so something to ponder, where in your life are you in react mode and where would be the gift of appreciation if you're able to not be in react mode, experience things from an aligned choice and make a different creation for yourself. I challenge you to do that. I think it'll really rock your world in a real good way. Creativity is another part of appreciation as well. And sometimes people could express their appreciation through art, like music or drawing, or even writing. These are all creative outlets that are allowing you to, you know, I wouldn't say project, but allowing the appreciation to flow through you, the experience to flow through you. So we're at another break right now, and you're listening to The Dr. Dolores Show. I'm Dr. Dolores Bazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. And we're talking about the appreciative heart today. And when we come back, we'll just 
share a little more and then I'll take you into a guided meditation that's going to allow you to experience appreciation. So stay tuned and we'll talk to you. Do you trust your instincts? <laughs> Many of us don't. Yet this is the key to connecting to your innate healer within and your intuition. Tune in to the Dr. Dolores Show with nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer, Dr. Dolores Fazzino, to receive insights and tools to realign with your inner wisdom for lasting health and true wellness. Listen for the Dr. Dolores Show, Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Pacific, on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Ready to break free from complacency? Welcome to I'm Awake, Now What? Your monthly invitation to embrace <laughs> conscious living. If you've been feeling lost or stagnant, this is your chance to awaken your purpose. Join our transformative conscious wake up office hours every month for guidance and self-discovery. Experience the power of clarity and focus as you navigate towards holistic healing and empowerment. Don't just survive, thrive. Sign up now and unlock a wealth of benefits, including enhanced well-being, stress reduction, emotional healing, and connection. It's time to ignite the flames of purpose within and start your journey to a fulfilling life. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is the Dr. Dolores Show with Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to Dolores at drdoloresfazzino.com. Now, back to the program. And welcome back, everybody. You're listening to the Dr. Dolores Show on Inspired Choices Network. And I'm Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. And we're talking about the appreciative heart today on our show. And before our breaks, we were talking about appreciation and gratitude. And I just want to have a little commercial break right now because I'm really excited about this project that I'm launching with a good friend of mine, Cozy Stan Kakis, and it's called I'm Awake, Now What? This is a program. It's a membership community, and it's a monthly membership community that we will have a live event, and it'll be recorded. So if you're not able to make it, you could still listen to it. But what I'm Awake, Now What? is for people who are awakening on their spiritual journey. And I feel that there are people who are awake, people who are awakening and people who are still asleep. And this is for the people who life had been working fine up until one point, and then one day they wake up and it's no longer working for them. Or maybe they've gone through so many transitions that they feel like their life is falling apart and they don't realize that life is falling in place for them. So this is to help support those people who are on their spiritual journey. We're going to be talking about a different topic every month. And we'll have resources available to you. It's a community to offer you tools, healing, support, and community. So go to my website, drdoloresfazino.com, and you'll see a, a, a link that, I'm, that says, I'm awake, now what? Click on it, and you'll find more information about that now. Would love to have you. We're launching in November. So getting and circling back for appreciation, I appreciate everybody who's going to sign up for that because I feel that you will gain the benefit, the wisdom, and the knowledge that you need to set yourself on your path so you could have 
the things that you desire that are already there for you in your energy field, but you need to raise your vibration and frequency enough so you could see them. So before we went on our breaks, we talked about what appreciation is and what appreciation is not. And for those of us who are empaths, intuitives, and highly sensitive people, and maybe people who aren't those, you could feel when something is genuine or ingenuine. And you know about that. And we're also here to talk about learning how to, to gain that inner wisdom and trusting that information. So know that whatever you're sensing and feeling is probably 100% spot on and honor and trust that. So what do you say about doing a guided meditation to experience appreciation? So let's do that. All right, everybody. So I'm just going to invite you to find a comfortable position and you could either sit or lie down, whatever you choose. And just close your eyes and take a few deep breaths, allowing your body to relax. Just allow yourself to take a deep breath in and slowly blow it out. And take another deep breath in. And slowly blow it out. And take another deep breath in. And slowly blow it out. Notice the sensation of the air entering and leaving your body. As you inhale, Imagine yourself drawing feelings of peace and tranquility. And as you exhale, release any stress or tension. Now shift your attention to your heart. Just imagine a warm, glowing light emanating from your chest. This light represents your appreciation. And just allow it to expand and fill your entire being. And maybe for those who are a little more daring, allow it to expand beyond your physical body by about three feet as well. Now from your heart space, think of a person, place, or thing that you deeply appreciate. It may be a loved one, a beautiful natural scene, a personal accomplishment, or even your favorite pet or child. And visualize whatever you choose in your mind's eye. Feel the warmth and gratitude that arises in your heart. Notice the sensations you feel in your body as you experience this appreciation and just allow the feeling to expand and fill every part of you. Imagine yourself expressing your appreciation to this person, place, or thing that you chose. Say or visualize words of gratitude and love. Feel the joy and connection that comes from expressing your appreciation.
Now take a few moments to simply bask in this feeling of appreciation. Allow the warmth and gratitude to continue to fill you. When you're ready, gently bring your attention back to your breath. And notice the sensations in your body as you take an inhale and make an exhale. And as you open your eyes, I invite you to carry the feeling of appreciation with you throughout your day. And just remember, you can return to this meditation whenever you need a boost of gratitude, joy, and the sense of appreciation. Welcome back, everybody. I always love after doing meditations, the quiet, the stillness that is still available for us. Sometimes it's there's no words that need to be said. You could just feel the essence of what that experience is all about. So, you know, we talked a lot about appreciation, gratitude, and mindful activity. And this is just one example you could do for yourself. And it doesn't take long, but just to ground you because you feel different after you do a meditation like this, you have that experience of what it really feels like and how it feels to be in your body. And the more time that we could spend in that realm, It's like the foundational piece of the possibilities. You're building, you're building a solid foundation to where you can anchor in the other things that you want to create for yourself. It's also grounding you so you could be planted in this reality, but also stretch and go and see what's in your periphery. Whereas sometimes when you pop into your head, it's like you've got blinders on and you aren't able to see the bigger picture. So this allows you to see the bigger picture. Remember that appreciation is your golden ticket. <laughs> when you're able to appreciate the things in your life, appreciate others, and express that as well. People will bend over backwards to do things for you. And just, you know, you're going to you're going to be in a state of receiving from others because they feel that and they want to be around that. So You've been listening to the Dr. Dolores Show. I'm Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. And when we return, we're going to wrap it up a little bit, and put it in a nice little bow, and we'll talk about next week's show. So stay tuned and see you on the other side. Do you 
trust your instincts? Many of us don't. Yet this is the key to connecting to your innate healer within and your intuition. Tune in to the Dr. Dolores Show with nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer, Dr. Dolores Fazzino, to receive insights and tools to realign with your inner wisdom for lasting health and true wellness. Listen for the Dr. Dolores Show, Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Pacific, on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Ready to break free from complacency? Welcome to I'm Awake, Now What? Your monthly invitation to embrace conscious living. If you've been feeling lost or stagnant, this is your chance to awaken your purpose. Join our transformative conscious wake up office hours every month for guidance and self-discovery. Experience the power of clarity and focus as you navigate towards holistic healing and empowerment. Don't just survive, thrive. Sign up now and unlock a wealth of benefits, including enhanced well-being, stress reduction, emotional healing, and connection. It's time to ignite the flames of purpose within and start your journey to a fulfilling life. This is the Dr. Dolores Show with Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to Dolores at drdoloresfazino.com. Now, back to the program. And welcome back, everybody. You're listening to the Dr. Dolores Show. I'm Dr. Dolores Fazino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. And we're on the Inspired Choices Network. And the topic of our show today has been the appreciative heart and we talked about what appreciation is and is not appreciation versus gratitude and the differences between the two and we also did a guided meditation so that you could experience what appreciation is i feel that appreciation is a foundational piece that um is as important as kindness and it allows the give and take to allow other people to re to receive, but also um, to accept, but also to for us to receive uh, to be you know able to receive as well. It offers support, and we're in a time where support is really necessary. And to really appreciate somebody and for what they're doing and what and how they're showing up in the world is a huge thing, and it needs to be acknowledged supported and appreciated. So let's just recap a little bit. Appreciation is, an, is a powerful emotion and it improves relationships, our overall mental health and our life satisfaction. To cultivate appreciation, practice journaling. I We talked about gratitude journaling. I, I invite you to try an appreciation journal. Appreciate three things each day and see what happens. Because remember, appreciation and gratitude are very high vibrating words, but I feel appreciation vibrates a little higher. Um, you know, you need to overcome challenges. I think a lot of us are very resilient and sometimes we could be appreciative of our resilience because we're able to move through. You know, appreciating even the little things that people do for you is, I think, essential because when people feel appreciated, they want to do more for you and they will take the extra step to help you. This I have witnessed, and I think we've all witnessed this in our lives. You know, a nature, you know, just appreciative, just appreciate anything. It doesn't have to be, you know, at home, do it at work, be out in the world. And if you notice something about somebody or somebody's doing something, just say, I appreciate your the way you handled that. I think you did a great job. People need to know that they're being seen. I think sometimes people feel like they're not being seen. And when you appreciate them, it's offering them um, a glimpse that they have been seen and they, you know, they're not just by themselves. There's energetic qualities of appreciation. And we talked a little bit about that. We talked a little bit about gratitude versus appreciation. And we tapped into appreciation as well through 
a, a meditation that we put, you know, we put together for you and you got to experience. Remember, by focusing on appreciation, you can create a more positive and fulfilling life. And also, you're going to be able to touch the lives of others as well. And maybe in at a time where this person needed to hear that, because you never know what people are going through. And especially in this day, the, the, these times and these days, it, it's just mind boggling. One thing I want to just say, you know, some quotes on appreciation. I think my favorite one is this. Appreciation is a way of recognizing the value of something or someone. And we all want to be value, valued, respected, and appreciated. And those things are just, I feel they're the essential part and a foundational piece of who we are as human beings you know, having an experience here on planet Earth, trying to make it better for our fellow human beings as well. So I want to say this one last thing. <laughs> oh, let me find it because I had it in my notes here. And my notes just went crazy. So anyway, being in the present moment is essential. When you're in the present moment and you come from your heart and you come from a place of appreciation and gratitude, people will feel that. It's the essence of who you are. It is an important it's an important gift that we could give not only to ourselves but to other people because what we're going to be doing is raising the frequency of the world. And believe me, we need it today, more so than ever. And it all starts with us first. So it's about really supporting you and supporting other people. And I think it's a win-win thing. When people feel appreciated, they're going to do more for you. When you feel appreciated, what does that feel like for you? You know what that's like. So... One last thing here. So let's make appreciation a daily practice. By focusing on the good things in our lives, we can create a more positive and fulfilling world for ourselves and others. And I'm just going to leave you with that. So thank you for joining me today. And next week, what we're going to do is talk about nurturing compassion, a heartfelt journey. And we're in a state right now where compassion is, I think, really necessary. I feel that there's so much judging and criticizing in our world. And our world is so, um, there's a dichotomy of good and bad, you know, dark and, and white. And it's kind of coming to a head. And I'm finding what really is assistive to moving forward with um, maneuvering through that and even, you know, dealing with it a little bit is having compassion and not only that self-compassion. I think that's like the, the secret sauce that's going to allow us to maneuver through what we're going through right now and to elevate frequency and not only our frequency, but remember what we do internally ripples out into collective. So stay tuned next week for that. And, you know, I'm just going to want you to, well, I was going to want you to know here um, that how important it is to just give yourself the grace. Right now, we need a lot of grace in our world. And when we're able to stay in that state of grace, this is where amazing things happen. So amazing grace is right. And here we go. Okay, so I think I just popped out of my chat room. Yes, I did. <laughs> so stay tuned for next week and just wishing you the best week ever. And just know that you are loved and you are worth it. Stay tuned. Thank you for and listening you to the week. Dr. Dolores Show. Dr. Dolores <laughs> returns Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Pacific. 
on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until then, remember to be kind to yourself and create your best life. You are worth it.